Hey guys, hope you enjoyed your Christmas break. Happy New Year to everyone. So for this week in math, we'll continue to learn about fractions, but this time we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions with a different denominator. Just a quick reminder, your numerator is your number on the top and your denominator is your number on the bottom. Besides that, your numerator is the representation of pieces or parts that are being used. Your, num your denominator is the whole. Example, <clears throat> as you can see, three parts have been colored in and one has not. Same here with the pie graph. As you can see, there are four pieces which represents the whole or your denominator. And then the three colored in pieces represents your numerator. Here is an example of how to add a fraction or fractions that have the same denominator but different numerators. It's very simple. You take your denominator and you copy it, and then you take your numerators and you add them. So in this case, 1 plus 3 will give us 4 over 5. Here is an example of subtraction. 4 fifths minus 1 fifth. Again, you copy your denominator and then you subtract 4 minus 1, which are your numerators, which will give you 3 fifths. And you can see it represented here in these graphs as well. 4 fifths, 1 fifth equals 3 fifths. How do you add or subtract fractions when the denominator is the same? That's right. You just add your numerators and copy your denominator. How do you add or subtract fractions when the denominators are different? First, you need to make the denominators equivalent. There are two ways you can do this. The first way you can go is to check whether one denominator is a factor or goes into the other denominator. Example, 2 fifths plus 3 tenths. In this example, 5 goes into 10 by multiplying it by 2. But we're not just going to multiply our denominator by 2 to get this same denominator. We're also going to multiply our numerator by that multiple as well. So we're going to say 2 times 2 will give us 4 and 5 times 2 will give us 10. Now our denominators are the same. So we copy our denominator, we add our numerators, and we get our new fraction, which is 7 over 10. Here you will do exactly the same process. Is 3 a multiple of 12? Is 6 a multiple of 18? Is 5 a multiple of 10? Is 5 a multiple of 20? Well, if you said yes to all of these, you would be right. 3 times 4 will give us 12, and we're going to do the same with our numerator. 2 times 4 will give us 8. So technically, we would have 8 over 12 minus 4 over 12, which would leave us with 4 over 12. 5 times 3 will give us 15, and 6 times 3 will give us 18. So we'll have 5 over 18 plus 1 over 18, which equals 16 over 18, and so on. So as you can see, Whatever you do to your denominator, you will do the same to your numerator. As long as you can find a multiple that will give you the same result as your second denominator, this is a simple way of changing your denominators to be able to add or subtract them. I gave you guys some extra exercises to try it out for yourselves. And let's see what the result will be when we're in class. Great to have you back, guys, and great to be back. Bye.